If you're in a situation ship, <laughs> loser. No, I'm kidding. Um, that sucks. That sucks. It really sucks to be you. Um, could never be me. That's a lie. Um, I was literally in one a few months ago and I'm just gonna let you know how to end it because guess what? Let's be real with ourselves. Let's like really be real with ourselves for five seconds. Um, you're not getting anything out of this. In fact, you're, you're losing a lot. Um, and we don't really have time to waste um, on these clowns. This is you right now. This is literally you. You're in this situation ship and you're not leaving. Why? I think we all know why, but um, I can only talk about my own experience, you know? And um, so this situation ship that I was in, we took vacations together. He took me to a clothing optional hotel in Palm Springs. That was cool. Um, watched a 70 year old man touch his toes in the nude. Um, different story for a different day, uh, but that actually sounded kind of weird. So I'll just tell you that he came up to us and was like talking about how flexible he is. And he's like, I can touch my toes. And he was fully nude. And we were like, mm, this is an experience. Um, and then we went to Italy together. <laughs> Um, never ever have been on a vacation with a boyfriend, but situationship, I said, let's hit it. Um, anyways, I am just not someone that can like talk to multiple people at once. It's never made sense to me how people do that. Like, I'm like, first of all, how do you find that many people that you like and connect with? But I guess for like a lot of men, they just want to, you know, you know what I mean? Um, and they don't really care about like having a crush on the person. But for me, I'm like, I don't want to hang out with you, smooch you if I don't like you. Like that's insane. <laughs> it's insane to me. Um, I can't imagine like just being with someone because I think they're hot. Like what if they suck? I don't know. Anyways, um, I stayed in this for like the classic four months and you're supposed to leave after three months. That's like the rule. Um, but I was like, you know what? Let me just do an extra month of like fun and pizzazz. And by fun and pizzazz, I mean, I'd be leaving his house, um, playing Bitter by Fletcher and like a single tear would be streaming down my face and I'd be like, ah, it's fine. Everything's cool. Um, I don't have to end it. Cause like, whatever, like I'm just having fun. Um, wasn't fun. Wasn't a good time. And you know, I'm going to pat myself on the back. Cause like, I kind of thought we were exclusive, you know? And then I like had that talk with him and I was like, so we, uh, I'm not really seeing anyone else and yourself. And he was like, oh, I, I've been seeing multiple women. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I love that. Oh my God. I love, I love that so much. That's actually really hot when you think about it. Um, and you know what? I'm proud that I dipped shortly after. Cause the old me, like I'm a, I'm a retired cool girl. Um, I used to cool girl it so hard that like men that I was in love with would truly think that I despised them. I just could not stand the thought of a man knowing that I liked them or like thought about them. And um, before, if a man I like was like, oh yeah, no, I'm actually seeing multiple women. I would have been like, <laughs> dap it up. Do it in front of me actually, I don't care. <laughs> Um, and today I'm like, okay, I'm out. Easier said than done. Um, it was hard. It was hard to leave. Cause like, you know, you do have good times with your situation ship and you think like, you know what? Maybe this could lead to something. Guess what? Hate to tell you, but it's not. And that person is preventing you from finding other things that bring you a lot of joy. Cause with our situation ships, when you're the one that cares more in a situation ship, like it's not fun. It's not fun and it's blocking you from a lot of things. You don't even realize it. Um, and so, yeah, it was, it was so hard to leave that situation. I don't, I don't even know why, like in the grand scheme of things, I think I was just like super comfortable with him, but I mean, no offense to him, but he really wasn't funny at all. Like honestly, never made me laugh once. Um, literally nary a chuckle, but something that helped is I did write a list of like everything I want in a partner and he checked off like two of those. And I just like really had to like sit with it, do some journaling, throw in some meditation and um, just like be really nice to myself. Like I've talked in videos before that I'm like so nice to myself because a shame spiral does nothing. Cause 
you know, it's easy to be like, oh my God, you're letting this guy dog you. Oh, actually you suck and you're a clown and you're a bozo and you actually deserve nothing. Like it's so easy to go into that shame spiral. So it's like, actually just be really nice to yourself. And like, if you do end up texting them again, if you do see them again, like, okay, it's okay. But just, you know, play the tape forward. Be like, okay, I see this man. Then what? The next day I'm driving home, a tear's down my face. I just mucked a bagel and cream cheese in like three seconds because I was eating my feelings. I continue the whole day being sad and in the back of my head thinking, he's probably on a date right now. <laughs> and like, I know that I deserve better than that, like way better than that. And so, yeah, I think it's just, it gets a little confusing, especially like, I don't know, when you like create all these memories with them and like, you're like, wait, I should just stay with them. Like, whatever, like it's fun. Um, but if I'm like seeing someone for three months. I, I don't know how I would be able to go on dates with other people. Like, uh, maybe that's just me, but like, I truly, oh my God. And if the date's bad, then that situation ship looks so much better. Like. I remember after I ended it with him, I went on a date with this guy and like, <laughs> when I tell you this was the worst date I've ever been on, he was name dropping the entire time. Like, oh my God. The second we sat down, he was like, <laughs> went to a club last night. My buddy owns, saw Kendall Jenner. And I was like, oh my good God, this can't be happening. I went to the bathroom like five times and I was like trying to hype myself up to leave and like sneak out. I was like, oh my God, I can't do that. That's mean. Honestly, I should have, but yeah the bottom line is be nice to yourself these situationships are not easy and like once you do end it you're gonna be really sad but let me tell you from my own experience now i'm like okay not the police sirens okay like i don't know if there's police sirens in the back but now that i did end it and it's been like so many months since i ended it i'm truly like took me long enough like why was that even a struggle to end because like honestly I've met so many people and done so many cool things like since then and I'm like he was blocking me dude and I'm just like so glad it's over and the reason that I'm talking about this today is because he texted me like recently and I was like if you don't follow me back on Instagram I'm gonna block you <laughs> like and it's like comical like oh my god if he texted me that like because I unfollowed him swiftly after I ended things because I was like, I don't want to see your Instagram. But yeah, he was like, you better follow me back. And it was like the same energy as when I was working at a turkey slicing farm. I was turkey slicing and one time I sliced this turkey and put it in a sandwich and gave it to a customer and they were like, this, this is an awful sandwich. You just lost a customer. And I was like, oh no, like, okay, please block me. like. I don't want to see your shit. I mean, I haven't even like looked at it. That's a lie. I like perused, but I was just like, not cause I was like yearning for him, but you know, you just like stalk people on Instagram. God, I'm so honest on this channel. It's kind of messed up. Should I start lying? Um, it's crazy. People think that I lie. Like my, my YouTube shorts and my story times, people think that they're lies. And it's like, first of all, they're such random stories. How would I make that up? And like, I truly don't even think they're that insane. I think I'm just like kind of a good storyteller. <laughs> um, but no, some of those stories, I wish I was lying. Are you out of your mind? I'm like, I need to start sharing these stories because if I have to live it, let me make some content about it. Let me just, you know, let me laugh about it. Um, I have like truly so many stories, some that like, but there are some that I haven't shared that I'm just like, I don't know if I should share. But I probably will, let's be real. Um, just like, don't tell anyone, you know, like be cool. Just don't tell anyone. Um, but yeah, I hope it was helpful. Um, we deserve literally so much more than we're giving ourselves and allowing ourselves to have at the end of the day, like truly. And um, as time goes on, I'm like, 